Imeelezwa kuwa taasisi na sekta mbalimbali za fedha nchini zina nafasi kubwa ya kukuza uchumi na kupunguza masikini miongoni mwa Watanzania endapo kutakuwepo na mipango mizuri itakayowanufaisha wananchi sambamba na kuliongezea taifa kipato kupitia mfumo wa kodi ya uwekezaji. Meneja mkuu wa sasa ya uwekezaji Dan and Brandshit Adebawale Atobatele amebainisha hayo jiji la Dar es Salaam wakati wa seminar maalum ile kukutanisha wadau mbalimbali wa sekta hiyo ya benki. Hii taarifa zaidi. Why are we doing this? Specifically we're doing it because we believe that if people have good credit reputation, they can have better access to credit, easier, cheaper access to credit. So we, what we do, we expect that uh, if done properly, interest rates will come down. So people at the bottom of the, of the economy can rise up and get into the middle class. Now we will help the government of Tanzania, the banks, Every, every stakeholders of the country to create a culture of repayment. If you have a loan, you will have to pay it. If you have a credit card, you will have to pay it. Daniel Mboto yeye ni mwakilishi kutoka benki ya Barclays na hapa anaelezea namna wadau kutoka sekta za mabenki wanavyonufaika na semina hiyo. Kwa hiyo tutasaidia kuweza kufanya assessment ya wateja vizuri, kuweza kujua hawa wateja watakuja kulipa mikopo yetu baadaye. Kwa wale wateja ambao tayari tunao tunaweza kujua risk profile yao imekaje na vile vile kutumia hivyo kupunguza um, losses katika mikopo baraza la biashara viwanda na kilimo TCCIA limebuka mshindi wa pili katika kipengele cha mradi bora wa kimataifa katika mashindano yaliyofanyika nchini Qatar na kuratibiwa na chamber ya biashara ya kimataifa ICC ikiwa na lengo la kutambua mradi bora uliosaidia wafanyabiashara Mkurugenzi mtendaji wa TCCIA Daniel Machemba amesema Tanzania imebuka mshindi wa pili baada ya kupeleka mradi wake wa NTBS unaowawezesha wafanyabiashara kutoka na kutoa taarifa mbalimbali. Amesema kwa Tanzania kuwa mshindi wa pili duniani kimewapa motisha ya kuiwezesha chemba hiyo kuendelea kubuni miradi mbalimbali inayoleta tija hapa nchini. Hii ni taarifa zaidi. Kazi kubwa ambayo inatukabili sasa ni kuhakikisha kwamba tunarahisisha namna ya kuafikia watu ili tujue matatizo nayo wakabili alafu tuangalie namna nzuri ya kuwatatua pengine huwezi kumfikia kila mtu sawa huwezi kumfikia mtu kwenye mikutano kwenye magazeti kwenye nini lakini kwa kutumia tujaribu pia technology namna gani technology inatusaidia ili kumaliza matatizo ya watu so we are very pleased and indeed uh, um, happy that uh, TCCIA has uh, been awarded the, the second prize uh, it's 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 quite you know a milestone and an achievement in itself and also to think that there is growing interest now from other countries in the region to have the similar system which i must say is the first of its kind in east africa Kampuni ya simu za mkononi ya Airtel Tanzania imetoa jumla ya shilingi milioni 626 kama zawadi mbalimbali mbali kwa washindi wa promotion ya Amka Millionaire ambapo mpaka sasa jumla ya washindi 1458 wamejishindia. Aidha katika draw ya mwisho ya promotion hiyo iliyofanyika hii leo Laya Carl Akbar Thawa mkazo wa Kariakoo ameibuka mshindi wa mwisho wa shilingi milioni hamsini. Meneja uhusiano wa Airtel 